Okay, so for this next video, I'm going to show you how you are going to use the edit workspace or the edit page. So I assume that you already have placed all the videos, the pictures, and your audio in your timeline using the cut page like the one you see on your screen. So now we are going to move to the main edit workspace or the main edit page. So click right here at the bottom of the page, the third tab, and it will show you the edit workspace. So don't worry if your screen doesn't look like this. It might look some uh, or a little bit different it's just because of the different panels right here. So on the top part of your screen, you have media pool, effects library, edit index, sound library. At the right side, there is mixer, metadata, inspector. So these are the panels that you can open in your edit workspace. So as you can see here also, there are two viewers. The one on the left is your source viewer, and the one at the right is your timeline viewer. So it shows whatever you have in your timeline. Okay, now down here is your main timeline. As you can see, there's only one timeline here, unlike the cut workspace where you have the main timeline and the lower timeline. So here is just one. I'm going to open these panels and so you can see how the display on your screen will change. The media pool is right here. I click effects library. It shows up here on this area. Now, if you don't want them to be displayed right now, you can just click again on the panel tab right here. So if I click media pool again, then the media will be hidden. If I want to display the media and I need to put something in my source viewer, then I'll just click here and choose whatever video or picture that I want to display in the source viewer. So same thing right here at the right side. If I click mixer, then you will see the audio mixer right here. If you want to hide it, click again. So same thing with metadata and the inspector tab. Now let's talk about the timeline in the edit workspace. So as you can see right here, there's only one timeline. Now, you can see right here the timestamp, okay? So it's in hour, minutes, and seconds. But don't worry if it starts with one hour, okay? Don't mind it anyway. We're not going to make a video longer than one hour. So just look at the seconds and the minutes. So the seconds is right here, the second zero, zero. The third one is the minute. So if you don't see the exact second on the timeline like this one, like usually you see one, two, three seconds. Now you just press or hold down the Alt key from your keyboard and scroll your mouse down or up like this if you want to see the specific second. Like here you can now see two seconds. It makes your timeline longer like this. So if you want to make it shorter, just scroll down. So you can see the whole timeline like this one. As you see here in my timeline, I have my video layer that contains the video clips and the pictures as well as the audios. Now if you look at my audio layers, I have three. The first layer is the background of the video while the second layer is the background music and the third one is the narration now i don't need the audio from the video because i already have the background music so if you are going to delete all this audio that are attached to the video you can do it one by one or you can just simply delete the track so you can right click here on a1 track and you can just simply click delete track or you can just simply click on each track, but do not delete. If you delete it, it also deletes some of the video. So it is not correct to press delete. So instead of deleting it, you can right click and choose cut. Right click and choose cut. Do not 
press delete from your timeline. So I'm going to repeat that. Do not press delete from your timeline. If you want to remove an audio clip, a video, or a picture, do not press delete. Instead, right click and choose cut. Or you can press Control X from your keyboard. So I'm not going to delete it one by one. Instead, I'll just delete the whole track. So right click in the audio track one and choose delete track. So if I'm going to play this now. Decades of conservation efforts led. You won't hear the sound from the video anymore. Let's say you want to add another video or another clip or picture in your timeline. So I'm here in my media pool from the videos folder. I'm going to select a video. If you double click it, it won't be added in your timeline. Instead, it will open up in the source viewer right here. So before adding it into your timeline, you can play the video first like this. And if you want to select just part of the video, same thing like what you did with the cut workspace, you can press I for mark in and then scroll to the end of the video or to the point where you want to end the video and press O. So once you have selected your in and out mark, then you can now choose which one you would like to add, either video only or audio only. So you can just click this and drag to your timeline. Okay. So right here, I'm just adding the video. It has no audio because I click this video only. If I want the audio only, so just simply drag this down to your audio layer it will be added but if you want to add or insert the whole video clip then you can just simply drag from the media pool and make sure that it won't overwrite the sound or the background music or the narration in your audio layer because it contains the audio so be careful with that and if anything goes wrong, if you made a mistake, just press Control Z from the keyboard. Control Z to undo your work.